So let's talk about Bronsted Lori acids and bases. So previously we've discussed that um, there's the Arrhenius model of acids and bases, and then there's the Bronsted Lori type of acid and base, and that Bronsted Lori is more commonly now the definition that is used because it's more applicable as the situation doesn't have to occur in aqueous solution. So basically the Bronsted Lori model defines acids and bases with respect to their ability to transfer protons. And we show protons here as H plus. Okay, so that would mean a Bronsted Lori acid is a substance, either a molecule or an ion, that can donate a proton to another substance. Okay, so an acid with respect to Bronsted Lori is a proton donor. A Bronsted Lori base then is a substance that can accept that proton that was donated by the Bronsted Lori acid. Remember, acid base pairs, they're paired because you cannot have one without the other. So here is the simple example. We have HCl, which is a strong acid, um, and water. Um, which will go to form a hydronium ion and a chloride ion. Okay, so here HCl, because it's a strong acid, is our proton donor. And so here water is going to work as the base. And so remember it's working as a base because it has this non-bonding electron pair that's going to come and remove this proton from the, chloride, from the um, HCl. So that makes the H3O plus, and then we have Cl minus in solution as well. Again, remember acids and bases work simultaneously to transfer protons between them. Okay, so the bronsted lori acid must have a hydrogen atom that it can actually lose as a proton, like HCl did, and the bronsted lori base, be it a molecule or an ion, must be capable of binding that proton via the non-bonding electron pair, like I just showed with water. Okay, so within that, there's this other um, type of definition that's important, and that's that substances can be amphiprotic, okay, and that means they can act as an acid or a base depending on the situation. So in the um, example I just showed you with water and HCl, water acted as a base. Why? Because water has the non-bonding electron pair and it removed the proton from HCl. Okay, so HCl acted as the proton donor, water acted as the proton acceptor. Okay, proton acceptor means that it acts as a base. Um, in another example though, with water and ammonia, NH3, water is going to act as an acid, meaning that water is gonna be the one that actually donates the proton. Okay, so let's look at that a little bit closer here. So we have ammonia is gonna act as the base because if you go back to your um, Lewis-Stat diagrams, you'll know that ammonia has this non-bonding electron pair on top. So it is going to go and remove a hydrogen from water to produce the ammonium ion NH4 plus and the hydroxide um, ion OH minus. Okay, so remember that water in specific is one of the ones that can act as an amphiprotic substance. And that is some more on acids and bases.